You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Woods versus Volmer. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day, Your Honor. Ms. Woods, you say you had a brief sexual relationship with Mr. Volmer, which resulted in him intentionally impregnating you. You say Mr. Volmer now refuses to take responsibility for his child, and you are here today to prove he is your baby's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Volmer, you say Ms. Woods is a manipulative liar who was sleeping with multiple men during the time of conception and is so desperate to be with you that she's decided to pin her child on you. Is that correct? You can't blame her. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Woods, how did you get involved with Mr. Volmar? I was going through some issues with my other kid's father. And... Which one? One night, I went to the club and wound up running into Mr. Volmar. He actually walked up to me while I was having a drink. And he whispered in my ear and told me that I look like something that he, you know, he could see himself with. So we exchanged numbers. I wound up leaving the club. He called me the following morning and asked me, can I come over to his house? I told him yes, but I had to wait. I had to make sure that, you know, my baby father was leaving out for work that following morning. So I headed to Mr. Vermore's house. We wound up drinking and smoking. One thing led to another, we wound up having sex. The condom popped, and I told him, like, I'm a fast breeder. Like, I have four other kids. <laughs> so a fast he, breeder. Yes, I'm a fast Definitely breeder. Definitely a fast breeder. I'm, Let's just say fertile. Yes, I'm fertile. I'm sorry. Okay. He told me he, had, he was in a relationship for five years, and um, he, the girl wasn't able to you know, get pregnant. So you admit you had a sexual relationship with Ms. Woods. That's it. And you weren't in a committed relationship. Never. And once she told you she was pregnant, did you immediately think it was your child? No. You didn't? No. What were you thinking, sir? I said, wow, congratulations. Do you agree with her assertion that when no. you all had sex, the condom broke? Condom broke. The condom broke. It was sex. It was fun. Okay. A lot of fun. And, and, okay, and, and the condom broke. Yeah. So, at the point that she tells you she's pregnant, you don't believe you're the biological father, or I mean, do you remember that night when the condom broke? I kind of remember the night that the condom broke. There's a couple of nights the condom broke, and I just said, you know what? If I got it, I already got it. Who needs condoms anymore? So, wait, you're admitting that then you started having unprotected sex with her? Oh, a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the point is, is that you admit that you could be this child's father. I don't know. You don't know, but you could be. I, I don't know because, you know, I've tried it before. It didn't work. I don't so know. So when you say you tried it before and it didn't work, what do you mean? I it's tried well. to get three different women pregnant. And when I stop trying, she gets pregnant. I don't know. It don't add up to me. Okay. And so, Ms. Woods, when you told him you were pregnant, what was his response? He automatically told me that he wasn't the father because I was staying with a man at the time. You lived with him. You just it can't visit me. It does not matter. I was at your house every day, so how I had time to have sex with you and have sex with him? You well, uh, wait a night. minute now, Miss Woods. In the bed with him. I mean, of course you're gonna have sex. Miss Woods, man. if you were living with him, you were still in a relationship with him, right? Right. I was in a relationship but you with my having... other kids' father, but I was not having sex with him within that month I conceived. So you found out you were pregnant. I automatically knew he was the father because I was not dealing with him. You lived with him. How can you not be dealing with him? You was driving his car. You wanted this baby. At the end of the day, you wanted a baby. You kept saying how I make beautiful kids. You wanted a baby. I was I did not sex. want a, I did not want a child because sex. I had four other kids. I did not want no child with him. I was talking in the heat of the moment. Like, come on, man, really? So, Ms. Woods, you saying you were in a relationship with your other child's father. Right. You were having sex with Mr. Volmar. No, you can just call me side you piece. You told him... Side piece. Well, basically, that's what you were. Exactly. I, and I... I I, mean, I was the same to I him. told her, like, I'm the side piece. Thing. I'm a good I side piece. So, so wait a minute. Attacked. You were have you had Mr. Volmar. She'll on be the on side. the phone with her boyfriend. I'll be laying in the bed, rubbing on her booty <laughs> while she's talking to him. Okay, I was a good side dude. I didn't say anything. Yeah, no problems. Come over whenever you want. We have fun. Oh Lord. <laughs> so, Miss Woods, did yeah. you ever tell your ex that he could be? Madison's father? When I found out I was pregnant, I have no choice but to tell him that he might be the father because 
I was staying with him at the time. So I'm stuck having a baby. Are you? Yeah, I had the baby. By who? By you. Are you sure? I'm positive. You told I'm hundred percent sure. I don't even know his name. You told look at that baby. That baby looks just like you. She don't look nothing like me. She that baby don't have exactly anything like for you. me but my toes. That baby look exactly she like has him. Your head. His eyes, his nose, his she facial structure. Feet. That baby look just like him. You I'm make tired. the same faces. I remember. <laughs> That's you. Mr. Vomar, let's 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 try to take this seriously, really, because. Yeah, because this is why I cannot deal with him and this is why I didn't want no baby for him because the type of attitude he have, how he's set up. Like, he just, he just ignorant and I cannot deal with but him. But no, no, no but Miss, Miss Woods, you were dealing with him. Yeah, That's why we're that, here. Because I was going through something with my other she kids' She likes father. the ignorance, Your Honor. I was going through something with my other kids' father. At the time, he you made me feel good like. about myself. She upgraded when she dealt with me. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You have a boyfriend, so why would you mess things up by going to be with Mr. Volmar repeatedly? It was, just, it was just so much going on with my other kids' father. Like, the fussing and fight, like, I got tired of that. So let's go cheat on him. Pretty much. Good job. Good job. You sleep with Mr. Volmar, another guy. No, we had sex. There was no sleeping. Oh. Sex. No sleeping. Let, let's just be respectful in court. He just, he ruled. He ruined my relationship at the end of the no, day. You no, ruined your no, relationship. No, no. You ruined it. I you don't ruined think, it. I don't think he ruined it. I, I think, do... Ms. Woods, you have to own the fact that you ruined it. I own it. I own that story. You ruined it. I you had a it. relationship. It seems like... I mean, you've probably been going through some problems. Right, I And have. that's that's what couples do. I mean, there's that old saying that, you know, the way that you get over one person is to get under another person. Right. And that's, and that's not what, true. And that's what happens. But she that's not wrong. true, right. as you can see. Right. That's some bad advice. Right, because now there's a child involved. Exactly. Are you still in a relationship with the other guy? No, and the fact is, like, he's hurt over the situation, but at the end of the day, I can't blame him. You ultimately had to tell him that it could potentially be... Right. She right. told him Before. that after she, like... I didn't even know she told him that he might be the dad. So this is something I just learned today. Thank you. I didn't actually Wait. tell him, Your Honor. I told my mother and my she mother told She came to me them, and told always him. told me, you are the dad, 100% sure, 1,000% sure. Because I was dealing with just you within no, that time period I could see. you were dealing with me, him. What about the other guy I saw you in the club with? That was just a friend. That don't got nothing. I, I that was, was just a and friend. And that's what you keep on saying. You keep on bringing it to that I other guy, but you friend. know you the father. I don't know. Then when I had my baby, I'm in labor. Where my did you have your baby at? Me, out there in Lafayette. She ran. She left Georgia, ran to Louisiana, had a baby. Didn't call me till after the baby was born. Then she comes back to Georgia like, I have your daughter here. Your Honor, I called him when I was in labor giving birth to my child. You he called me eight me minutes off of later. Phone. Eight he months. He blocked me off of his phone. What you want me to do? I found out she was pregnant. Within two to three months, she was gone. I was dealing with so much with my other kid's father. That's why I wound up leaving and going to a whole nother state. I didn't want to move to New Orleans because it's, it, they had so much going on down there. So the closest place is Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana. That's where I moved with my kid. That's just as bad. Just as bad. So when she comes back, the baby's born. Right. The baby's born. She came back, the baby was literally three and a half months old when she came and first time I seen the baby. Ever. And said, this is your baby. Yep. And I looked at her with the same look I'm giving you right, right now, like, what? And so, Ms. Woods, when you arrived and you told Mr. Volmar he's your child's father... Yeah. Wh what was his reaction? He said he wanted to get a blood test. When I got down here, he finally came to meet his child for the first time. I don't know if that's my child. Your Honor, I'm that speaking right now. Child. Okay. Might be his kid. We riding around or whatever. He wound up bringing the kid back. I'm like, what you done that for? What you brought the kid back for? Oh, I know it's my child. So which is it? Either she your child or she not your child? Like, he just... I can't Did deal with him. Did you take the DNA testing kit back to he brought the store, it back. Mr. Vollmer? I wish I could have took her back to the store. She's the worst thing that happened to me. 
I promise you, I got so many headaches. This is like... Why didn't you take the DNA test? Because he's cheap, he don't want to pay for nothing. It's gonna cost $75 or $100 for you to get the results back. He didn't want to pay because he's cheap. Oh, so once you got the box, you realized that it wasn't like a pregnancy test where you get the results right, right there and you had there. to send them off right. and no, send no, the no. check. No, you know what I did? I started thinking about, like, why am I paying for something that might be somebody else's? Get somebody else to pay for it. Mm. Fed up with the lies, the nonsense, you know, it's just a whole bunch when of When you keep stories. saying she's lies, what, which lies are you talking about, Mr. Volmar? One, she's pregnant by me. Okay. okay. I've been to the doctors. I have low sperm count. So he's Satan. So I know. I would have you 20 have kids age-old. by now if that was not true. Okay, everybody you. body is not the same. All right. I like to clone myself. So, Mr. Volmar, you say you have a low sperm count. Is that correct? Yeah. And you submitted to uh, a sperm analysis test, a new one for this court. Yes. Because we wanted to get better information. We have called upon Dr. Jamila Gator, MD, with Rise Wellness Medical Clinic. Jerome, can you please escort the expert in, please? Oh. Hello, nurse. Hello, Dr. Gator. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, We are, of course, in a paternity case concerning beautiful baby Madison. Mr. Volmar stated for the court that he has a low sperm count. He'd undergone testing. We wanted to retest him. What was your analysis of the results? So, uh, Mr. Volmar had several factors that indicate he does have a low sperm count. One was the sperm count itself. It was at 20 million. Anything below 20 million is considered low sperm or oligospermia. And that does decrease your chances of fathering a child. Thank you. However, it does not make it impossible for a man to father a child. You you was on my side for a second there. Well, the rest of the analysis shows that he also had good motility of sperm, which is also important because the sperm have to swim to the egg in order to fertilize it. How can they swim? I can't swim. Well, (laughs) your sperm can certainly swim. So you're becoming a clown, Mm -hmm. and this is not a circus, this is a courtroom. I understand. We're getting the information concerning your body and your potential conceiving this beautiful baby. It's not a joke. I'm sorry, Dr. Gator. Go ahead. So based on those results, 40% of men with his type of picture actually need medical help to conceive a child. But on the flip side, up to 60% can go on to father a child naturally. So it's really, it's really a toss-up. It's really a 50-50 chance in terms of his sperm count and his ability to father a child. 40, so now that you've heard that, Mr. Volmar, does it change your position at all in terms of you believing the child could potentially be yours? No. Because she's saying it's possible. She's saying 40, 60. She's saying I have low sperm. She's saying it could happen, but it didn't. You just don't believe it? I, 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 I know. I mean, she's a beautiful baby, but... Yes, I don't, she is. I don't see me in her at all. Ms. Woods, what are your hopes for today? I mean, this is, this is not an easy situation. Right. I just want to lay everything out on the table. I want him to see that Madison is his daughter. I want his mother to see. I want his whole entire family to see that this is his child. I don't have no reason to throw a child on him. He's a loser. Let's be respectful. Okay, Jan, I'm sorry. But I just want him to see that this is his child. Step up and do what he got to do as far as providing for this child. She likes having sex with losers. Listen. Just being honest. Let's just keep the decorum. Okay. Because this is a very serious time. Right. You came here for answers, and I have those answers for you. Okay. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Woods versus Volmar, when it comes to four-month-old Madison Woods, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Volmar, You are the father. Thank you. Thank you. You're the father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. 
You are the father. That is your beautiful little girl. Exactly. Looking just like him. Thank you, Your Honor. How's it feel? Hmm. You seem... I might have lost the words. Really? Yes. <laughs> no, that's a good thing. She's beautiful. Can I hold her? Now, that's a beautiful thing to say. Yeah. It's gonna be my little piece of gold, now that I know. I think in light of Mr. Volmar's, I think very real, honest reaction, I'd like to have a moment with you both in my chambers because I want him to see his little girl. I'll meet you there. Court is adjourned. So I'm very happy we can get you guys some answers. And now you have certainty. Jerome's gonna bring Madison in right now. Baby. Hey, little mama, Zaddy's here. Yes, I love you. <laughs> Good job, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Good job, Daddy. You know what? I do see myself in her. Good. She's gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. That she is. That she is. <laughs>